Chris, this is your first full newscast with us, and it's a hot start, literally, right? Yes, yes, it's been a hot and humid one across all of eastern Kentucky, and we're still tracking a few showers out there. Of course, we had some activity earlier this afternoon, but a lot of that beginning to dissipate, of course, losing some of that daytime heating, allowing some of those showers and storms to finally come to an end. Let's take you over to live pinpoint Doppler radar right now, tracking a few of those showers actually heading into Perry County here in the hazard. These are very light, might not even be touching the ground, but maybe a few sprinkles, a brief shower. That's a really all we can expect with this. And of course, just to our north there, just north of Moorhead along the I-60 or I-64 I corridor, excuse me, just to the north. Those are working towards the north and east, bringing some showers for those folks too. But all in all, it looks like we're going to see a mainly dry night once we see a few of these showers work eastward across portions of southeastern Kentucky. But temperature wise, pretty warm out there as we do uh, head into around 1115, 1116 time frame. 77 degrees in Salyersville, same can be said in Prestonsburg. So mid to upper 70s across the Big Sandy, across the Kentucky Valley here. 74 degrees, of course, 75 just to our north and really pretty warm across much of southern and southeastern Kentucky. 75 degrees there in Somerset and 74 there in Williamsburg. So we're seeing very warm temperatures and it looks like we're going to see mild temperatures through the overnight period. Overnight lows only expected to drop into the upper 60s, and it's all because of this high pressure across the southern Appalachian Mountains there. That's giving us nice return flow. So winds from the south creating those warm and muggy conditions. That's also providing those chances for some showers and storms that we're seeing throughout the afternoon and into the early evening time frame. And it looks like that's going to be the case for the next several days. Now look at your fast cast as we head into the overnight hours early tomorrow morning. Some patchy fog possible temperatures right around 70 degrees, so it's going to be a pretty warm start at 68 and by mid morning looking at temperatures right at 73 degrees. Now zone by zone forecast, those temperatures are going to be warm tomorrow and it's going to be muggy out there. Mid 80s to the Cumberland Valley there, so 85 in Corbin, 86 in Williamsburg, 86 in Whitley City, 87 degrees in Mont Monticello, so very warm and of course an isolated chance for a PM storm. And that's going to be the case just to your north and east here in the Kentucky River Valley. Mid 80s across the board, 85 degrees here in Hazard and of course scattered PM storms expected. So if you do have any outdoor plans, just keep that in mind. Of course, have a plan B if you get hit with one of those quick moving showers or storms. And to our north and east across the Big Sandy, looks like mid 80s is going to be the case along with those hit and miss showers and storms through the afternoon, early evening period. And a look at future view showing those temperatures really warming up as we take it through the overnight period into Tomorrow we're going to see temperatures drop into the upper 60s and then back into the mid even upper 80s for some of those readings and you're seeing some of these spotty showers and storms popping up. That will be the case through tomorrow afternoon. And of course, a lot of that activity expected to die down once we head into the overnight period and into early Sunday morning. And then once again, we're going to call it a rinse and repeat of a forecast. More showers and storms expected to blossom as we head into the main heating day for your Sunday. So temperatures back into the mid upper 80s and that's going to be the case for your Monday. A little bit better shot of some showers and storms through Monday afternoon. And of course, that's what future is showing here with temperatures back into the mid even upper 80s and a look at that seven day forecast where your weekend is always in view. We're going to see those temperatures in the upper 80s. More storm chances along the way and Tanner, I tell you what really typical summertime pattern here with these daily storm daily storm chances. Excuse me there and those temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. So it looks like summer is going to come a little bit early officially. So we haven't started yet just about a week or so away. And Chris, welcome aboard. It's always good to add another Moorhead State graduate to our news team. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks.